Assalamu alaikum dear friends. Today in 2020, I am here to explain and telling the analysis of covariance which is abbreviated as ANCOVA MCQs. Their MCQs are very very important for you. I will give the solutions of these MCQs. So must watch this lecture completely till end and don't skip any step. And after watching this lecture, you can also watch remaining chapters, MCQs, videos which are available in the description. Must watch that. So let's start the video. Here is the first MCQs here. Very very important MCQs. ANCOVA. ANCOVA is the blending of which is everybody. Analysis of covariance is the blending of ANOVA and regression. Must remember that. You don't have regression, we don't have y is equal to a plus bx must remember that's the combination of blending of ANOVA and regression next point control variables are as covariates must remember and that's variable moving the next point x that's x variable are the control variables are covariates next and cova has a dash Continuous response variable always has a single, single continuous response variable. Very, very important MCQs. Next, concomitant variable, which is also called as covariates, is noted by X. I already told you that. That variable X is called as concomitant variable and covariates. Must remember, very, very important point. Next, the third. Smission xy completely square over n over smission x square, which is usually the sum of squares due to the regression with dash degree of freedom. Very simple, with one degree of freedom. Next, moving the next MCQs. I hope you have clear concepts. Next, in ANCOVA, the sum of squares of errors of estimate is smission y square minus smission xy. Completing square divided by smission x square. Next, in ANCOVA analysis of covariance, the populations are normally distributed with dash variances. Must remember that with homogeneous variances. Always are the homogeneous variances. Next, the covariance adjustments remove the bias. You can say that that always remove the bias due to regression. Next. In ANCOVA, the regression is dash and the slope is not dash. You know that that situation is a linear because that degree is 1 and that also degree is 1. So must remember that in ANCOVA, the regression is always linear. The regression is always linear and, and the slope is not 0. Must remember. Slope is not 0. So get answer is linear and slope is not zero. Next will be that in ANCOVA, next MCQ very very important in ANCOVA treatment, block and regression which we do, which we made effects are always additive. When we make the table that's options of make always additive. I hope that you have clear concepts in that and also, also share that lecture as much as you can Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel and must press bell icon button for gaining notification of my new lecture. Goodbye.